Hi, my name is Tracy Linden and I'm an occupational therapist at Therapeutic Links. I'm here to answer the question, why can't my kid play by himself without a screen or peers? Well, today more than ever, we need our kids to occupy themselves while we as parents are trying to get our work done as well as all the household chores. And unfortunately, our children are constantly asking us for more attention and for more screen time. Why is this happening? Well, our kids don't have the same imagination and play ideas that we used to. Our previous crazy schedules of the kids coming home and then us rushing off to organize sports, as well as screen time as a leisure activity, has hindered their time of being able to actually physically put their ideas into action and learn how to expand on their play. Well, what can we do about this? The first thing to do is to set up a fairly consistent routine from day to day. The routine should clarify when they will have their screen time and what needs to be done before screen time. It's really important that the children get their work done and any sort of household chores done before screen time. Another very good thing to include is making sure that your child gets enough outside time as well as, if it is raining, inside gross motor movement so that their bodies are better able to self-regulate. Number two would be make sure to also schedule in for the child so that they're clear on when you are gonna be available to, excuse me, available to give them one-on-one -on -one attention uninterrupted. It doesn't mean that you have to schedule hours and hours on end of playing with your children. Even just scheduling 15 minutes, one to two times a day is extremely beneficial for them to have that attention and to learn and grow. During that time, what you can do is be creative yourself. Offer up your ideas within the play. Let them offer their ideas without your corrections. Thirdly, when you want your child to play by himself, you need to have him be able to sit down with an activity or be presented with an activity that he has used before and been successful with. This will help with the motivation of expanding on those ideas. Lastly, be okay with your child choosing to do absolutely nothing during the time that they don't have a screen, your attention, or a peer or sibling to play with. My kid likes to sit upside down on his head on the couch, and that's okay. Remember that learning how to be bored actually helps the children learn how to wait for gratification. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact us at Therapeutic Links. Thank you.